Hey, Viking fans, this is Keith Millard, and you are listening to the One Bar and Lupica Show. Go Vikes! All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lupica Show. I am One Bar, and time to talk Anthony Barr. We haven't really talked about him yet, but his injury, is it time to be a little bit concerned? Is it time to worry? I think the answer is yes. We're going to be talking about that. Before we get into that, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, talk in Minnesota Vikings every damn day. Also, hashtag 4,000 in the comments for a chance to win a Vikings jersey of your choice when we hit 4,000 subs. So Anthony Barr is still not practicing. He has not practiced since August 5th. Um, every day it seems that, that the coaching staff, whether um, whoever it may be, is, is alluding to the fact that this might be a little more serious than we hope. Um, we've seen this before with other players. Uh, recently, Daniil Hunter, where all of a sudden, shit, he's gone for the year. So um, I'm starting to get a little bit worried uh, Barr played in two games last year, which was uh, which was very very painful. We we know what we went through in the linebacker position last year. Uh, feeling better about linebacker this year, no doubt about it. But Anthony Barr missing significant time would definitely be a hit to this defense, even though this defense um, is night and day compared to last year. Um, realistically, the fact that he's still not practicing, the fact that they're being very secretive, not even mentioning what this injury is, um, is definitely. Definitely a concern. Uh, Vikings don't have to divulge that information in the preseason. Um, they have until week one to do so. Uh, so let's go. Let, let's just go worst case scenario here where he's just on the IR and he's done. If they put him on the IR before the season starts, his season is over. Um, I believe, I believe if they wait until next Tuesday and put him on the IR, that could be a short stint on the IR. Uh, as of now, I honestly think that's best case scenario. I can't see how... He doesn't get tossed on, on, on at least a short-term IR where uh, he gets healthy. Um, especially, there's rumblings out there, whether this is true or not, that it is a groin injury, which would not be fantastic. So Anthony Barr, I'm fully expecting the fact that he is going to miss some time come regular season. I just hope it's not a big chunk. So let's look at life without Anthony Barr. Um, we know Eric Kendricks, Nick Vigil have those other two linebacker spots locked down. Um, uh, Zimmer mentioned that if, if, if Barr does miss time, you're going to, it's, it's going to be guys like Troy Dye, Blake Lynch and Chaz Surratt in the mix for that time. Um, Blake Lynch has looked pretty good. We know Troy Dye has looked decent. I mean, he looked good, really, really good this last game. Um, but I could see Blake Lynch taking over this spot and then we get a little mix of Troy Dye, maybe a tiny mix of Chaz Surratt. I don't think Surratt is ready to uh, be out there full time yet by any means, but as much as it sucks that Anthony Barr is going to be out, I think the Vikings will be pretty okay. Let's just say pretty okay. This isn't a devastating blow. This isn't Patrick Peterson going down. This isn't Daniil Hunter going down. This isn't uh, uh, Michael Pierce going down. Um, it'll be it'll be fixable, um, but hopefully not long term. So while while I, my purple heart hurts a little bit, the thought of Anthony Barr not being altered just because this defense is so so ready to go. It's so ready to show what they got, and uh, the amount of effort they put in. I think they won't go out and find a free agent. I don't think they're going to bring a free agent this late in the game. Um, they've done so many changes on defense. I think another wrinkle this late might not be uh, a great fit. So I think it will be in-house. I think we'll see a lot of Blake Lynch, and I got a lot of confidence that he'll be just fine. Not an Anthony Barr level, but just fine. Let's hopefully, hopefully this isn't season-ending IR. That would be uh, very disappointing to see Anthony Barr come back for one final year with the Vikings and not even get a chance, especially after that two-game uh two game stint last year so we'll see what happens but everything you're reading points to the fact that he probably probably is going to miss some time let me know in the comments the thought of anthony Barr missing some time uh does it keep you up at night are you scared are you worried are you excited for the blake lynch troy die show let me know in the comments and remember hashtag 4000 baby